Well, life isn't everything. Obviously, it's quality of life. That's the main thing, isn't it? That's what's important. I mean, if somebody has lost everything, there's no hope or no joy, I'd, I'd help amend it. You know, I'd go to jail for it, to be honest. But I, I won't, you know, let someone quit that's got everything to live for, like Kev. I mean, being in agony from terminal cancer, that's completely different to not fancying going without booze for a few years. It's totally different. I won't have it. Yeah. I hear you tell Derek that you don't want to give up drinking because you don't see any point in living. Oh, here we go. This is where you tell me I've never good life, is it? I've got some worth. Blah, 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 Not blah. Not quite. Come on. I just popped in to tell you that you're a selfish cunt. You're a pathetic coward and you don't deserve all this care you're getting. And you really don't deserve a friend like Derek. I don't know what he sees in you, I never have. I've got no idea why he wants you to live a long life and be his friend forever. I don't know why he thinks he needs you, but he does. And I care about Derek. And I won't let anyone or anything harm him, including something as useless as you, Kev. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to stop drinking. You're going to stop drowning your sorrows and get through your day sober. And you will lay awake at night wishing you were dead. And you'll wake up in the morning wishing you were dead. But you're just going to get through it. And that'll keep going on, all right? You'll keep wishing you were dead, waking up wishing you were dead. But one night, you'll sleep. And one morning, you'll wake up wishing you were dead just a little bit less. And then you'll stop wishing you were dead altogether. And you'll start wishing you had a better life. And then you'll start living. And that'll all have been because of Derek. And then maybe you'd have paid him back for everything he's done for you.